Paula, a verdict for the former owner of the New England Compounding Center being held responsible for what prosecutors call a national tragedy. The meningitis outbreak from tainted drugs killed more than 60 people nationwide. Jury members returned their verdict after several days of deliberating, and WBZ's Ryan Kath was at the federal courthouse as Barry Cadden learned his fate. Ryan. And Liam, this was a mixed verdict. The jury did convict Barry Cadden on a number of serious charges like racketeering and mail fraud, but refused to directly hold the former NECC owner responsible for victims' deaths. Barry Cadden put profits over patients. Federal prosecutors say greed caused the former owner of the New England Compounding Center to cut corners and produce pain medication that he knew could be dangerous to patients. A fungal meningitis outbreak in 2012 killed more than 60 people and sickened hundreds. Investigators eventually traced the source to batches of steroids contaminated with mold. Thousands of doses produced and distributed at the NECC in Framingham. This case was a national tragedy. The tainted drugs distributed on Mr. Cadden's watch caused the largest public health crisis in this country ever by a pharmaceutical drug. While prosecutors won convictions on a number of serious charges, they failed to convince a jury to find Cadden guilty of second-degree murder, a legal pursuit some critics called a drastic overreach by the government. It is a disgrace that he was charged with murder. It was unprovable, unwarranted, and unjustified. What's your reaction to murder? Cadden left the courthouse without answering any questions, but his attorney said his client felt vindicated by the jury's decision. Barry is very conscious in the flurry of excitement over the verdict that we not forget the people who have suffered terribly. I am just as bitter today as I was four years ago. I, I'm still mad about it all. It, it's just kind of crazy that, you know, he got to get away with killing people. Those victims' families were not in the courtroom today because they all live out of state, but an attorney who represented a hundred of them in civil litigation told me his clients are disappointed in the verdict. Cadden is free until sentencing on June 21st. He could still be looking at a lengthy prison sentence, but will likely avoid life behind bars with the murder acquittals. Ryan Kath, WBZ News.